Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishur Swami and today we would be learning about how to set up or install a package server and Paga synchronization server 19.1. So Paga has recently launched their latest version which is 19.1 uh, and in the earlier version they used to have a package server as a kind of console application but with 19.1 they have made it as an IAS application as a kind of web application. So in, uh, in the earlier version, we had to run as a kind of console application so that may uh, can stop running at any point of time. But with IS, it's easy to configure and have more uptime. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, first, we'll set up the package server and then we'll set up the Paga synchronization server. So uh, with the package server, uh, we have the capabilities to store all of our solutions packages and with the synchronization server we have the capabilities to store the bundles the runtime bundles so it would give us the ability to automatically update the runtime version on the runtime machines so uh, the stuff that we need to have these uh, uh, package server and the synchronization server set up is uh, server exes then we need an uh, ias uh, server server machine and the certificate the ssl certificate so let's have this stuff uh, gathered one by one server exes are part of uh, paga robotic runtime zip file so if you get it uh, from or uh, have it downloaded from paga robotics uh, uh, digital delivery portal so once you have the runtime exe just unzip it or the runtime bundle yeah, once you unship the uh, runtime media files, runtime media zip file, just go ahead and locate the uh, another zip file which is have the name as server installs. Just go ahead and unship again. So once we unzip server installs uh, media zip file, then we can go ahead and just locate the exe file. One is for Paga uh, package server setup another one is paga server status setup and then paga sts uh, ser service setups and then paga synchronization server setup so the sts is basically as a kind of uh, authentication which we can use with uh, deploying our runtime or our solution packages on the end users machine so to authenticate the end user we can use the sts setup we are not going to set up uh, the sts in this particular tutorial uh, since it's uh, it's more related to the kind of wfi user authentication or the rda bots uh, user authentication so uh, in this particular tutorial we would be more focusing on setting up package server uh, server status and synchronization server setup uh, the next thing that we need is a, uh, an IS uh, server or an uh, IS server to set up this uh, application. Since I'm using a Windows machine, I, I don't have an IS server machine. So I'll uh, go ahead and just activate or install the IS uh, server on this Windows machine. So you can go to control panel, go to uninstall program or programs then turn windows feature on and off or on or off and just locate the internet information services and activate or just click on these checkbox on the respective features that we want to activate i have already activated so i'm not going to do it so cancel and close so the is one i'll just open the is so now we have exe and the is server the next thing that we need is to install these exes on on c drives inet pub folder and locate the inet pub folder in the inet pub folder since we are going to install three different things one is package server then the server status and uh, synchronization server so let's go ahead and create three different folder to install all these three exes so i'll give the name package server and the next thing is I'm going to create another folder for pega status server or server status is actually 
it checks the if the server is up uh, or not up and running or not the next one is pega sync server So we are going to use these three folder to install all these three exes in the respective folder so i'll go ahead and just locate uh, these exes and let's install the first one white click run as administrator click on run And just click on next I accept the agreement next this is a package server exe so let's select the appropriate path this one click on browse go to the C drive inet pub and package server select folder click on next and install So this is it uh, for installing the package server. Uh, now we will install server status exe. So right click run as administrator. Click on next. I accept next. Select the appropriate folder. C drive, inet pub, this is a server status. So I'll select the server status folder. Click on next and install. Click on finish. Now the third one is we are going to install is synchronization server setup. Click on run. Next. Click on next. I accept next. Then next. No, sorry, I forgot to select the folder. So I'll just select the appropriate folder. I uh, install. So these can be installed in the two different way. One is uh, as an IS setup, another one is uh, Kestrel setup. So we would be uh, setting up on the IS server, not on the Kestrel. Sync server, select the folder, click on next and install. Click on finish. So now we have set up or installed all three EXEs here in the respective folder. We can see it. All three are done. The next thing we need to do is uh, to get a SSL certificate. Since we don't have any organization, um, so for this particular tutorial, I'll be creating one local SSL certificate. So just go to IS, just open up your IS, and in the IS, you can find this server certificate. Double click on it. Right click to create a new certificate. Create self signed certificate. Give a name. So you can uh, give it like Paga Cert. Click on OK and you can keep it as a personal. Now, right click on this certificate and export it. Without a certificate or SSL certificate, we cannot set up synchronization server because sync or the other package server we can set up. Package server doesn't require any certificate and it's uh, it's not a sec secure uh, kind of thing. But for uh, sec 
synchronization server we need a secured circuit layer certificate or SSL certificate I'll just select the path I want to export it on my desktop and give the name Pega sort click on open so here we have it's on my desktop so I'll create a password password may be anything that you wish to add once we have the certificate we need to install it on the local machine so just right click install and click on the local machine click next and click next and add the password here click next then here's the important thing if we don't have an organization's uh, sec secure circuit layer certificate or SSL certificate and we are using our personal certificate then we need to install this personal certificate all the runtime machine wherever you are using uh, this uh, PAGA services or wherever whichever the machine that we want to have a use as a runtime machine so click on place all certificate in the following store so click on the browse click on personal and next and finish we are good we need to do it on all the machine wherever we want to use this package server and synchronization server and on the runtime machines as well so just click on next so basically we are installing this uh, certificate on personal and trusted santa trusted root certificate authority so click next and finish we are good the next thing is we need to add these as a sites here so just click on the site right click and add website the first thing that we need to set up is the actual website is only status server and the other two are not the actual website but these are more like a services so just add a pega status server status server click on three dot go to inet pub select the status server folder and click on ok then at the binding choose HTTPS and here if you want to use a particular IP use it else you can have it all uh, or a blank one and give a port name so it would be good if you can give like 5000 two three four five or something so I'm gonna use it uh, as a three and from the certificate we'll use the certificate that we have installed on this local machine so click on OK so once you are done with adding the website go to application pool and just double click on this application pool or click on basic setting or double click both are the same thing and here in the CLR version just choose no managed code and click on OK again go ahead and refresh go ahead and refresh and restart now we'll open this website so i'll just uh, go ahead and click on this uh, browse link so it should open my website or our status server since we have added our local certificate it's not recognized on the internet so it is showing as the certificate or uh, this error is just because of not secure uh, as a certificate is not recognized so just click on advance and proceed to unsafe as we know this is a safe website so we can proceed with to unsafe now now we have this server status running and here we can see the packet server and synchronization so look, let's go ahead and open it up and check the health it shows not connected similarly if we check for synchronization server 
it says not connected and we are not going to set up the STS authentication so we are not going to use it but we'll set up these two things let's go add and set up these one by one so let's first set up the package server so again go to the site right click add website so this is pack up package server click on three dot again go to our in inet pub and package server select it okay https and here just keep in mind just keep it all and assigned do not use any particular ip address because we won't be able to browse it it's not an actual web application it's a more like a service and give the default port and the paga has the default of port is 5000 in all the documents there so you can keep it 5000 that's okay and from the drop down just select the certificate click on okay now again go back to application pool and select this packer server pool double click or from uh, you can click on the basic setting from the drop down just choose no managed code click ok just pay a little bit of attention here since this process we won't get it on the and on paga communities website or anywhere on the internet now we are done setting up this website so let's do some setting there in the uh, config files so first we need to go to packet server and we need to add the particular location where we are going to store the packages so the packages we can store a c drive or at any drive that you would like to have it for you or for your organization and just save it press yes So now we have given the location we are good we can close it now go back go to status server and server status again app setting JSON file add it and here we need to add these URLs so the first URL is for package server so package server URL is we set it up for HTTPS and the port is 5000 that is good that we can check it here here the port is 5000 and this star indicates for this machine name or, or the host name host you can get it from cmd type host name hit enter you should be able to get the host name just select it and right click it will copy go back at the instead of local host make it to host name save it now go ahead and refresh your server status web page so here we should be able to see the packet server now let's go ahead and open it up so it says our packet server is all set and running this is the version here we have the host and then the uh, log path where we can see the logs are created and where we will store all the packages here this is the path that we added in app, app setting JSON file for package server now let's go ahead and set up this synchronization server so synchronization server is a little tough so let's go ahead and make certain changes first to the or let's let's add the synchronization server website here right click add website pega sync server and click on three little dots c drive inet pub sync server folder click ok you cannot set synchronization server without a certificate it has to be a secure so even if you look at the default setting the synchronization server url starts with s by default other two are without s it's just the http 
for synchronization server we need a certificate and we have to have it as a, as a secure layer only so just add another port which is 5001 and that's also the default one here we can see select the certificate click on ok we are all set go to application pool look for sync server double click again choose no manage code click ok so we are all set here we'll refresh just refresh and it's all restarted all done now we need to make certain setting changes where should all the bundles should be stored or the exes should be stored so that information we need to add it in synchronization server app setting folder app setting file app setting json file so it's app setting repo json right click add it so the first thing we need to define is where to store all the packages that's here this is by default you can change it as you wish the next thing is certificate information since i told you before we cannot set up the synchronization server without a secure or ssl certificate so here is the certificate information so we'll add it here first so the subject is since we are using a local certificate and the subject would be the host name so again go back check your host just select it and copy it should be in double quote so added the host or the subject store is my it's on the local and the location is local machine local machine to save these settings and go to app setting folder uh, or the open the app setting file for the status server and now add it here for HTTPSS is already there we don't need to add and the another thing is this local host need to be changed with the host name or your machine name I'll just save it now go ahead and refresh Now check your packet server, all set and running. Check your status server, still not connected. So let's see what is the issue here. Again, go back. Oh, actually it's running. It shows running. I was checking that STS server, sorry, my bad. So here we have our uh, packet server up and running our synchronization server up and running so this is how we can set our uh, paga packet server and the paga synchronization server and paga server status but the page that you can check is only this uh, status server as a kind of website but the other two would be just the services and that we need to add it in our runtime and the common config file at the runtime machine so if you want to check on uh, how we can publish the packages on package server that uh, there is another video in my previous one of the previous video it's exactly same like we used to do it uh, uh, with the older package server and uh, if you want to learn about how we can uh, publish the bundles on synchronization server then I'll just be having the new or the next video in the next video We'll definitely learn about how we can publish the bundles on the synchronization server. So thanks for watching. See you in next video